Okay, so this is a tricky text completion here with two blanks. And what we want to do here is take it apart, starting with the idea that this person's work in both in these two areas in the late 19th century blanks the assertion that the two movements were blank. If we look at that second part, or I should say the latter part of the sentence, where we have the first blank and then we have the second blank, we have to look at the relationship between these two blanks to really get at the answer. Because her work could support the assertion. It could support the assertion that the two movements were related. Or it could undermine or go against. So put undermine here. Go against the opposite of support. And it would show that the two movements were actually unrelated or opposed to one another. So which one is it? It could be either or. So we look here at blank one, and we have both support and we have undermine. If it is support, it would have to be related. Are any of the words in the second blank related? Well, diffuse just means spread out over a large area. Doesn't mean related. Inimical, maybe you don't know that word. And then predominant doesn't necessarily mean related. It just means the main one. So if we plug in support, we don't get anything. So let's plug in undermine. Undermine, again, means to go against. So it goes against the assertion that the two movements were unrelated. Well, we know the definitions of the other two words, diffuse and predominant. And the reason I got rid of inimical in the first place is I want you to kind of go out on a limb here, though, and guess what the context or what the sense of this word means, inimical. Sounds pretty harsh. It sounds like a negative word. And it is a negative word. Of course, this doesn't always work, but you should sometimes have a feel of the word. So if something is inimical, would you say it's related, similar, or something that's opposed or against? And so because it's a harsh sounding word, more likely it means unrelated. And there is our answer. Now, again, I'm assuming most people don't know this word. And you may have easily just convinced yourself that inimical could have worked for the or could have worked together with support. However, this is a very difficult problem. I mean, most people are missing this problem. So that's why I'm saying without really knowing inimical, do your best to guess. And, Words that have that in them sound to it usually, have, usually are negative. And again, our answer here is A and E, inimical. And inimical means opposed to or hostile, do things don't get along. And there are two answers.